Hey guys, just here in the shed doing my squat routine and a question popped in my mind which I um, thought about in the past quite a lot actually um, and that is the whole low bar versus high bar squat uh, positioning. Um, in my opinion it's very straightforward, um, it hasn't been in the past. I have flirted with uh, both of them uh, to be honest with you um, but over the years I've kind of uh, concluded the high bar squat is by far the better option. Um, there's a few reasons uh, uh, this is the case in my opinion, um, but the number one I'll um, tell you right, right, off the, right off the bat is that the low bar squat and the deadlift are very, very similar. Uh, they both call for you to be in a very bent over position. Um, if you've never low bar squatted, just YouTube it, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people um, on the YouTubes uh, showing you what that's about. But essentially, you're in a very uh, bent over position while you're going down. Um, and most likely, you tend to be in a wide stance. Um, now, the deadlift is also a very bent over position. Um, so, when people tell you don't, you can't really squat and deadlift in the same workout. This is why, because both of the movements are essentially calling for the same back angle. Both of the movements are using essentially the posterior chain um, uh, to complete the movement. Now, if you're a powerlifter, um, it makes sense for you to low bar squat, because that sport calls for um, just total tonnage. Whoever can pull more weight or you know, three lifts, can ever accumulate more weight, um, wins. So if you can engage the posterior chain, um, you tend to lift more weight. This is why the deadlift usually has a bigger number than your squat um, because the posterior chain is much uh, more stronger. Um, but if you are like me and you're interested in overall holistic strength, balance, um, you know, something that carries over to everyday life and perhaps the sporting field if you're that inclined, if you're a basketball player, soccer player, whatever player, um, you want balance. You cannot be um, so imbalanced that the interior chain is just forgotten. So, I've always squatted and deadlifted in the same workout um, because I have, not always, I lie, in the past I have low bar squatted, but nowadays I always do both of the moves in the same, ex in, in the same session because I high bar squat and sometimes front bar squat, front, front squat. The front squat is a, or the, also the high bar squat, you're in a very, you're in a much more vertical position which calls for different musculature. Um, of course, you're using your back as well, but it calls for more anterior chain, um, which is the whole reason. That, that's the whole reason why I don't low bar squat, because it just mimics the deadlift. The difference between the two is essentially the bar placement. One's in your hands, the other one's on your back. They're very alike. Um, depends on your, on your leverage and whatever, but my squat, my low bar squat, and my deadlift is very, very uh, similar. I bend over like a motherfucker in the, in, the, in the low bar squat. Sure, I lift more weight. I can grind up more weight. It's just, to me, it just doesn't carry over where I want it. When I think about some of the best squatters in history, they're not low bar squatters. I, I just, it's not sexy for me. When I think about a, a, a squat, I think of the Oli or Olympic weightlifters, how they squat. Those guys are fucking upright. They're like candles going up and down. Right? That's cool. And it's a lot different to the depth. So there it is guys, um, that is my honest opinion why I don't train low bar, why I recommend you uh, train high bar or front squat. Um, uh, it's just, in my opinion, the, the, the better way. Now, I will admit, it will take you some time to get the mobility required to high bar squat. Um, when I first started or trying to start uh, the high bar squat, I was bending over and leaning over and my, my heels were lifting off the ground and all sorts. I'm not 100% there yet, um, like some of the Olympic weightlifters, but I'm getting there. Um, so it's a bit of a transition uh, for you to endure. Um, you need to kind of stretch out the hip um, for you to hit the right positioning in the bottom. Um, but yeah, I think it's still worth your while to get the mobility so you can actually strengthen your legs and then just smash the posterior chain. Um, and I guess that's the conclusion. The deadlift works out your posterior chain your back strength and the squat should work out your leg strength.
can't do two movements for the same damn thing. Right? So introduce some um, high bar squatting, front squatting, and uh, you will you feel your uh, squat, your quads are going to get bigger, and you are going to have a bigger vertical leap, and your athleticism will increase. But anyway, that's just a thought. I better get back to some squatting. Anyway, thanks guys.